Um, I'm 30 years old as of last Friday, and I'm originally from Juneau, Alaska. I was born and raised there. I'm a teacher. <laughs> um, I have two sections of math fundamentals, so I teach math in the mornings, and then I have academic support, so that um, really just helping kids in all of their different classes um, try to be successful and make sure that they're getting the credits they need to graduate. And then a lovely arts and culture class that we're doing some beading and wood burning projects in. So that's what I do right now. Um, I really just love working with kids in general. And when I say kids, I mean, you guys are older than what I'm used to working with. So I usually work with sixth through eighth graders. Um, so it's been really fun to work with the little bit older. Um, teenagers, you guys are really young adults. You're not kids anymore. Um, but it's just been so fun to watch you guys grow and get to know you guys. And so the best thing I see every day is just the, the growth that you guys make. Um, and that's, that's why I love to teach because it's just fun to, to get to know you. And the hardest part of my job is when you have a kid that is like, has so much potential, like you can do anything you want, but you're just making choices that aren't conducive to that path. So I don't know, I don't know how much, because a lot of times as a teacher, you kind of just work with people for the school year and you hope you made an impact. So I don't know how much I, actually influence people, but I would like to think that the times that I influence people the most are when I'm able to just be there for them um, on my jobs, and so when I have kids that just need a quiet place to come work. It's really hard because you're trying to take the place of this person that has already built relationship, um, but once you get to that point of being able to let the kids know that you're a safe person to come talk to, and that you're willing to listen to what they have to say, um, that's always my goal. I don't always succeed at it, but every once in a while you get, get a couple kids that really feel like you will listen to them, and that's when I feel successful at my job. I should always remember a time that you influenced, but I think that's always the reason teachers go to work, um, is the chance to possibly help a kid down the path they want to go. So if they, if they want to, if they have goals in mind and things to do, like that's the really fun part about being a teacher. So I actually <clears throat> came out here five years ago now. So I used to teach up in Huslia, um, just north of here. And I used to coach basketball. This is actually the first year I haven't coached basketball in like five years. A couple of slightly interesting things about me. Um, I was a zip line guide for five years. So I took people on tours through, um, so in Juneau. That was my summer job while I was going to college. So that was super fun. Um, I used to have to do some super fun like breathing techniques with people to get them to go off the platforms. And it was really fun. Um, so it's been really cool to see the different culture and the different um, and especially because I was in the interior before, but you guys come from all over the place, so I get to see so much new culture all in one place. Um, and it's been really, really fun, and with a different age group too, so I really, I just enjoyed being here so far. Typically, because I have a deeper voice, I usually sing with the tenors, which is usually the men. Yeah. <laughs> so that's always a fun thing in a church choir. <laughs> yeah. Guys, and you're like, and me, cool. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Did the things. It's okay. I don't know if it's. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh um, this is the other interesting thing about me. I usually break stuff. <laughs> So that, that's normal. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Okay. I'll let it. <laughs> Is it still going? Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, that actually, um, 